In the heart of the bustling college campus, nestled amidst ancient oaks and ivy-clad buildings, there was a sense of security that drew students like moths to a flame. The campus was a microcosm of youthful exuberance and ambition, a place where dreams and futures intertwined. But it was also a place where nightmares could fester, as one unsuspecting student, Sherry, was about to discover, Sherry was a diligent psychology major who spent her nights in the hushed corners of the library, delving into the mysteries of the human mind. She had heard the whispered tales of a night stalker who prowled the campus, but like many others, she dismissed them as mere urban legends. That was until one crisp autumn night when she left the library later than usual. Her mind lost in the jumble of her studies, the street lamps cast eerie shadows that stretched like clawed fingers across the cobblestone path. As Sherry walked briskly, she couldn't help but glance over her shoulder, her imagination playing tricks on her. Was that a rustling in the bushes? Her heart raced, but she shook off her unease and quickened her pace, the night stalker watched from the shadows, a phantom concealed by the inky blackness. His presence was like a noxious mist, suffusing the air with dread. His malevolent grin remained unseen, hidden beneath a hooded cloak, but the predatory glint in his eyes told a sinister tale, Sherry reached her dormitory, her breath quickening, and fumbled for her keys. As the door clicked shut behind her, she tried to calm her racing heart. But in the labyrinthine corridors of her mind, a gnawing fear had taken root. She couldn't shake the sensation of being watched, and her sleep that night was restless, plagued by haunting dreams. The next evening, Sherry found herself back at the library. She needed to finish her research, to escape the ever-present sense of dread. Hours passed as she lost herself in her books, the world beyond the pages fading into obscurity. When she finally looked up, the library was empty, save for the flickering lights that cast eerie, shifting shapes on the walls, with a sigh, Sherry gathered her things and headed for the exit. As she approached the heavy wooden doors, they creaked open of their own accord. Goosebumps rose on her arms as she glanced around, unnerved by the creaking hinges. Then, a soft, melodic voice whispered from the shadows, wait for me, her heart raced, and she stumbled back into the darkness of the library. Seeking refuge amongst the shelves, the voice taunted her, calling her name, as if it knew her deepest secrets. Panic set in as the whispering grew louder, yet the speaker remained elusive. Sherry was trapped in a malevolent game of hide-and-seek, the night stalker reveled in her fear, his sinister amusement escalating with each passing second. He watched her every move, like a cat toying with a terrified mouse. Sherry's mind teetered on the brink of madness, her academic composure shattered, with trembling hands, she reached for her phone, her lifeline to the outside world. But the signal was weak, and her messages went unanswered. Trapped in the spectral library, her fear was a palpable. Smothering presence, in a desperate act of courage, Sherry burst from her hiding place, ready to confront her tormentor. She scanned the dimly lit room, but there was no one to be found. The voice had ceased, leaving only silence and a lingering sense of foreboding, Sherry fled the library, determined to unravel the mystery of the Night Stalker. She delved into the campus archives, seeking any mention of the elusive figure that haunted the campus. What she discovered sent shivers down her spine. Decades earlier, a brilliant psychology student named Jonathan had become obsessed with the darkest aspects of human behavior. He vanished under mysterious circumstances, and rumors suggested he'd been consumed by his own obsessions. He'd become a night stalker, a wraith that preyed upon the unsuspecting, but Sherry wasn't one to be paralyzed by fear. She decided to confront the night stalker head-on, using her knowledge of psychology to understand his twisted mind. She ventured into the shadowy corners of the campus, luring the night stalker out of hiding, the confrontation between Sherry and the Night Stalker was a tense and psychological battle that unfolded in the darkest corners of the campus. Amidst the whispering trees and dimly lit pathways, Sherry, armed with her knowledge of psychology and a deep understanding of the human mind, knew she had to employ a delicate approach to talk the Night Stalker down, 
as she ventured deeper into the shadows, her heart pounded in her chest, and her steps echoed like a drumbeat in the eerie silence. Her voice quivered, but she called out, Jonathan, I know you're out there. Let's talk. You don't have to hide anymore, there was a pause, and then a rustling in the underbrush. Jonathan emerged, his face concealed beneath a hood, but his eyes shone with a mixture of fear and fascination. He regarded Sherry with a predatory curiosity. The night stalker began to lower his guard, the tension in his shoulders easing. Sherry's approach had appealed to his intellectual side, offering a path towards redemption rather than condemnation, with a cautious nod, he finally relented, I'll try Sherry. I'll seek help, relief washed over her, and she extended her hand to him. As he accepted her gesture, he was no longer the menacing night stalker but a man who had been trapped within the labyrinth of his own mind, they walked back to campus together, with Sherry ensuring that Jonathan sought the professional assistance he needed. Over time, he received the support and therapy necessary to confront his obsessions and regain his sanity. The campus, once shrouded in fear, began to breathe easy again, and Sherry returned to her studies with a deeper understanding of the human mind's complexities. She had unraveled the enigma of the Night Stalker, turning a terrifying presence into a story of redemption and healing, it was a powerful reminder that empathy and understanding, even in the darkest of circumstances, could lead to hope and transformation. Sherry's courageous confrontation had not only saved her but also offered a chance for the Night Stalker to escape the clutches of his own psychological demons, proving that there was light even in the deepest shadows of the human psyche.